Buster Specials. The 12-hour sale at Steinmart. You're going to save a lot. On Monday, we've got a full hour of juicy hot topics. Plus, we're going to show you the latest Hollywood hair trends. If you're going to be at the Borgata tomorrow night in Atlantic City, I promise to be funny for you. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye. The Now South Florida, stories everyone's talking about right now. Making sure you're in the know. With new information before everyone else. It's a bold new way to get your news. The Now South Florida, weekdays at 4 on WPTV News Channel 5. Who said yachting is too expensive? Climb aboard a spectacular two-hour cruise aboard the Lady Del Rey or Lady Atlantic. Enjoy cool drinks and great food prepared right on board. The scenery and marine life make it a wonderful adventure for families, friends, or special events. Find us at DelrayYachtCruises.com. We've been thinking, a pitcher who can paint the corners is known as a Rembrandt. Who doesn't love that kind of precision? At GMC, we get that. Not everyone can deliver a 95 mile an hour Rembrandt. This is precision. This is GMC. Now during the GMC Spring Sales Event, current lessees switch to GMC and lease this 2015 terrain for around $199 per month for 24 months. Welcome to the show. I went to Bassett's one-day sale and saved a ton on the style I wanted. Saturday only. Save 30% store-wide during Bassett's one-day sale. It's only one day. I wouldn't miss it. Who said yachting is too expensive? Climb aboard a spectacular two-hour cruise aboard the Lady Del Rey or Lady Atlantic. Enjoy cool drinks and great food prepared right on board. The scenery and marine life make it a wonderful adventure for families, friends, or special events. Find us at DelrayYachtCruises.com. Catch your News Channel 5 updates throughout the day on News Radio WJNO. Startling rape allegations during a party attended by FAU students. What investigators are saying about the claim and the suspects. Stolen property from homes across Florida found in Martin County. Now, deputies need your help to find the person who they believe is behind all these thefts. The busy business of Mother's Day. You will not believe the pace inside local flower shops right now. Our Rachel Lado takes us behind the scenes for a look at how all those beautiful bouquets just come together. It's four o'clock in South Florida. This is The Now. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Shannon Cake, and welcome to The Now South Florida. It's a show that keeps you in the know. And right now, Boca Raton police are investigating the alleged rape of an FAU student. I'm here near our assignment desk, and we're making some phone calls right now. We're tracking down some more information. Our editor, editorial teams are doing that. Meanwhile, The Now's Jay Cashmere is in our feed room with more on what we're learning today on this case. Jay? Yes, Shannon, this case growing right now, learning a lot more information hour by hour. The student told officers that she attended an after party in mid-April at the Wayne Barton Center. Again, this case is uh, several weeks old now. She told Boca Raton police that she was pulled up on stage behind a curtain by several men who raped her. The woman told police she went to that after party after attending a show at Florida Atlantic University with friends. Now, the after party had no affiliation with FAU. Police are asking anyone with information to call Boca Raton Police or Crime Stoppers. Coming up on News Channel 5 at 5, Charlie Keegan has a live report on what he's digging up right now on this investigation. Shannon, back to you. Jay, thanks. Right now, people living along the coastline in North and South Carolina is preparing for subtropical storm Anna. Take a look at this. I believe we have an Earth Cam. Do we? Or is that the Earth Cam? <laughs> it looks like a beach cam. Anyway, there's a beach cam there. These are the beaches of Myrtle Beach at the moment. A tropical storm warning has been issued for this area and areas north stretching into North Carolina. Steve Weagle, can you join me here? I believe you're up, sir. All right, here what, I am. What can you tell Friday me? Friday afternoon. Yeah. Well, it, it, thankfully, it's not a strong, strong storm, mm -hmm. but it's going to leave a, hot, a lot of heavy rainfall, and they're going to get some beach erosion from it. It's slowly pushing inland the next couple of days. Kind of interesting that you get a named storm outside the yeah. hurricane season, and especially in a season that is expected to be slow lower than normal, below right. normal. And here so, we go already. Yeah, yeah, here we go already. And it's only, or what, early, almost mid-May. Yeah. So uh, it's looking pretty good as uh, far as our weather is concerned. It actually, Shannon, works in our favor because what it does is it brings some nice temperatures and really low humidity across most of Florida. I actually did an event earlier today with folks who live up in Gainesville and they said the weather up there at night is in the 50s because we have that nice northwest wind 
on the western side of this system. There it is right there on a spinning off the Carolina coastline. It's drawing down this really nice air. The, the issue for us, though, is by the time it makes it into South Florida, we are looking at temperatures the next couple of days getting up into the low 90s. All right, winds right now at 45 miles an hour, so you're stationary, so it's just spinning like a pinwheel up here. It does eventually move inland, and once it does, it loses its energy source. That's the warm water of the Gulf Stream and the Atlantic coast, and then eventually it tracks up into the Canadian Maritimes and Atlantic Canada. Nova Scotia getting brushed with it and perhaps even Newfoundland. Closer to home, it's absolutely gorgeous. There are the model tracks on this. We are looking at some pretty pleasant weather. It is going to be very, very hot this weekend, though, and we're going to talk more about that in just a few minutes, Shannon. All right, I'm feeling it already, Steve. It's already hot. <laughs> Does any of this, look at this loot. Does any of this stuff look familiar to you? It's stolen property, and it came from homes across not just Florida, but the country, and it was found during a search in Martin County. Now, deputies need your help to find the man they believe knows about this stolen property. The Now's Jamel Lene live with details on this story. Jamel. Well, good afternoon, Shannon. I am here live in Hope Sound, where this is an area where the deputies say that several of these homes were hit. And this is also the area where they say Shane Statton also lives. He is the suspected burglar that lives in this area with his sister. Deputies now looking for Statton after recovering thousands of dollars worth of stuff he is believed to have stolen. Deputies say that they were called to the home on Cross Rip Street last week after an elderly couple reported their home had been burglarized. Uh, the couple, they say they noticed a black vehicle with an Ohio tag parked across the street. Investigators say when the couple stepped inside, their home ransacked. Now, the woman, she stepped outside of the home and saw the same black vehicle with this Ohio tag backed up to her neighbor's fence and saw Staten throwing stuff in the vehicle. A witness who heard of another burglary in the area told detectives that he saw Shane Staten take items out of his neighbor's yard. Now, the deputies say that they learned Staten was staying with his sister in the same neighborhood, went to his home last night and that's when they recovered all of these stolen items. Served an arrest warrant, which turned into a search warrant, and we were able to recover property from multiple burglaries throughout probably uh, North Palm Beach and Martin County. So the sheriff also saying that some of these items may also uh, have come from out of state. Now they are saying that if you see Shane Statton, you are asked to contact the sheriff's office. They are looking for him. Uh, he has an active search warrant out for him. And also, if you see any of those items that you just saw in our broadcast, or if you believe that some of your stuff may have been stolen to give them a call, they may have some of your stuff. Now, coming up all new at 5 o'clock, you'll hear from neighbors saying how they are now on the lookout. That's the latest here in Hope Sound. I'm Jamel A for the Now South Florida. Mel, thank you. Fort Pierce police still looking for the person who shot and killed a Fort Pierce teenager yesterday afternoon. Police say Leon Mobley Jr.'s death marks the second homicide of the year. At this time last year, there had already been seven homicides in that city, but police Police expect violence to increase during these summer months. Police say they have been following leads in Mobley's shooting, but so far tips have been conflicting and no arrests have been made. Police are offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who steps forward with information leading to an arrest in this case. Thousands of mourners gathered on Long Island today to remember a police officer killed in the line of duty. Officer Brian Moore was shot in the face last weekend in Queens, New York. Police say he and another officer tried to stop and question a man who was walking on the sidewalk. Investigators say that man pulled out a gun and shot Moore. The suspect has been charged with murder now. 25-year-old Officer Moore was a member of the police force for less than five years. In that time, he received two exceptional police service medals. Several local police officers and sheriff's deputies traveled to New York to attend today's funeral. Among those, two Honor Guard members from the Martin County Sheriff's Office. This is the first time Martin County has sent Honor Guard members out of state. And the Stewart Police Department also sent officers to the funeral. Fears of an ISIS attack has U.S. military bases on heightened alert today. Our Ann McNamara's at the Now National Desk explains what has sparked this recent concern. 
The U.S. military taking this one seriously. The security level on all bases is at the highest level since the 10th anniversary of 9-11, and that was four years ago. The FBI director saying he's concerned about the number of ISIS followers in the U.S. and the very real possibility of a jihadist threat. Officials at U.S. bases are now at Force Protection Bravo. It's this yellow level right here, and it's defined as an increased and predictable threat of terrorism. Northcom not saying how security has changed, but we did get word from the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. Right now, they're not allowing anyone onto the property, not escorted by someone with a Department of Defense ID card. And just this week in Texas, two gunmen opened fire during a cartoon contest. Upset artists were depicting the Prophet Muhammad. Both gunmen were killed and ISIS claimed responsibility for that attack. Back to you. And thanks. Be prepared for more, some more traffic headaches in downtown West Palm Beach. Starting Sunday, more roads will be blocked off in preparation for all aboard Florida. Crews will be closing Hibiscus Street to get railroad crossings ready for the 32 trains a day that would pass through that area. Hibiscus Street is going to be closed from Sunday through Wednesday. Several other streets in the area will also be closed for similar upgrades through the month of June. All aboard Florida, hoping to have these trains running by 2017. Now's the time to collect a few non-perishable food items and help stamp out hunger, too. Letter carriers will collect the food tomorrow as they drop off your mail. The food will then be donated to local food pantries right here in our area. You should have received a plastic bag earlier this week in the mail to put your food in and then leave by your mailbox. Stamp Out Hunger has provided nearly 7 million meals in the last 10 years. Isn't that terrific? Students and staff at Calusa Elementary School in Boca Raton went bold today. Look at this video. They're raising funds for childhood cancer research. 70 people, including these students. Look at them. Wow. Teachers and parents, too, all shaving their heads this morning to raise money for St. Baldrick's Foundation. Special guests, including Miami Heat dancers and NBA Brooklyn Nets player Earl Clark, also participated in the event. The school raised more than $30,000. Congratulations, guys. Aren't they adorable? Oh. Coming up here on The Now, he survived Ebola, but now the virus is back and in an unusual place. What doctors are saying about his likelihood of spreading the illness now to others. Then an interesting defense for a man accused of robbing a bank, why he says the blame should be on the teller, not him. And eating out for people with food allergies, that's pretty difficult. The way Walt Disney World is making it easier to make sure you can enjoy your day at the park. Right now, we're looking downtown West Palm Beach through our Live 5 camera network. A beautiful, bright, sunny Friday. Back in a moment. It's 5 o'clock. You need to know what's happening right now. The only local chopper getting you breaking news first. Steve Weagle, tracking and alerting you before the storm moves in. Local news everywhere. WVTV News Channel 5 at 5. <laughs> At Bedner's, freshness sounds like this and looks like this. I'm Steve Bedner. Visit Bedner's today. Fresh, locally grown produce from our farm to your table. I went to Bassett's one-day sale and saved a ton on the style I wanted. Saturday only. Save 30% store-wide during Bassett's one-day sale. It's only one day. I wouldn't miss it. Of all the things that keep you busy, maintaining your car shouldn't be one of them. The experts at Mopar are busy making sure of that. We get the job done right the first time, help you save every time, and get you back on the road in no time. So this spring, let us help refresh your ride. Right now, buy three tires and get the fourth for a dollar at your neighborhood Mopar service center. You're driving along and then it happens. You get hurt in a car accident. After your accident, make it easy. Call Rubenstein Law. They handle the hassle so you don't have to. I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein. Call me. I want to be your attorney. Call 1-800-FL-LEGAL. This is Brian. Every day, Brian drives carefully to work. And every day Brian drives carefully to work, there are rate suckers. He's been paying more for car insurance because of their bad driving for so long, he doesn't even notice them anymore. But one day, 
Brian gets snapshot from Progressive. Now, Brian has a rate based on his driving, not theirs. Get snapshot and see just how much your good driving could save you. When I'm ready for a break from the concrete jungle, I found another jungle where I can unwind. I've discovered Lion Country Safari. At Bedner's, freshness sounds like this. And looks like this. I'm Steve Bedner. Visit Bedner's today. Fresh, locally grown produce from our farm to your table. Trending right now, Florida doctor tied to New Jersey. Senator Menendez due back in court. Let's take a look. So this is Dr. Solomon Melgan. He's to appear before a federal judge today in West Palm Beach to determine whether or not he should remain in jail. Uh, he's been in jail for three weeks after being arrested in a separate case of Medicare fraud. Now, prosecutors have argued the 60-year-old ophthalmologist is a flight risk. Now, Melgan has pleaded not guilty in the New Jersey case that claims the doctor traded donations, flights, and vacations for favors from Menendez. Shannon? Rachel, thanks. A new concern today for one of the American survivors of Ebola. The virus is now in his eye. 44-year-old Ian Crozier was hospitalized at Emory University for weeks after he was infected with Ebola in Sierra Leone. He was a doctor there. And he still is a doctor here, of course, but that's what he was doing in Sierra Leone at the moment. Uh, a few months after he was released, he went back, complaining of vision problems and intense pain in his eye. Tests revealed Ebola had then settled into his eye. He's not considered contagious because the virus is not found on the surface of the eye or in his tear tears either. Devastating pictures coming out of Atlanta today. This after a small plane crashed onto a major highway early this morning, or late morning actually. Ann McNamara is joining us live from our now national desk with all the details. Ann? Well, Shannon, all lanes in Interstate 285 now back open. It is the major highway where the small plane crashed, and it was just after takeoff at the DeKalb Peachtree Airport. All four people who were on board that plane were killed. We're told the plane was on its way to Oxford, Mississippi. The pilot apparently reported an issue right after the takeoff and calmly said this phrase, hey, we're going down. No word on what that problem actually was, Shannon. Incredible. A lot of schools affected by this, too, we understand, Ann. Yeah, DeKalb County Schools extending their hours today on a Friday because parents and buses, they just can't get there with all the lane closures. Now that they're back open, hopefully they're headed that way. Because as you mentioned, a major thoroughfare through the city of Atlanta. And thanks. This nice guy asking for a break. Newsy's Catherine Beek shows a bank robber who is politely saying it's the teller's fault. Here's an interesting defense. Alleged bank robber Dominic Alfonseca is making the case that he was polite during the crime he's accused of committing. No threats in it. If, if, if you see me on the video or whatever like that, I have a shirt on, no weapon, no mask, and she passes me the money. Alfonseca said to WVEC he didn't want to get the bank teller in trouble, but that maybe she made a mistake and I didn't make a mistake. Alfonseca actually posted the ordeal to Instagram. He says his goal was to draw the attention of certain people, but did not say who. WVEC was able to snag the post before they were removed. You can see the note he allegedly handed to the teller with two smiley faces drawn on it, which is definitely more polite. And he even posted the video of the teller putting stacks of money in a bag. He was nice. He was nice when he asked for the money. Somebody should tell him that's not how it works. Alfonseca is being held without bond for the time being, with a preliminary hearing scheduled for June. For Newsy, I'm Catherine Beek. You can get more from Newsy on any mobile device or on Roku. Walt Disney World just got even friendlier. Some of the restaurants at the resorts and the parks have started rolling in new allergy-friendly menus. Did you hear about this? According to the Centers for Disease Control, the number of Americans with food allergies increased 50% between 1997 and 2013. So from appetizers to desserts, Disney says it will now be serving customers dishes that are free from gluten and some of the other top allergens. 
covers top eight allergens uh, for our guests. Gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, nut-free. The guest looks over the menu and decides, well, I kind of want that and does not have to see the chef. Just knowing that you can come to Disney and not have to worry about it, it's just one less thing you have to deal with and you can trust it. It's been fantastic so far. In the coming year, the allergy-friendly menus will be available at 120 restaurants at Disney World. People needing the menus just have to ask the host or hostess or their server. Mealtime can sometimes turn into a war zone, especially when kids won't eat their veggies. So what do you do? The Now's Holly Davis has five tips, dare we say tricks. This was a five, maybe even 10 minute discussion in our newsroom this morning. How do you get your kids to eat more vegetables? Pediatricians compiled their top five tips. First off, you've got to think outside the box, they say. They say add cauliflower, even zucchini into muffins, mac and cheese, and apparently chocolate cake. Also, if that doesn't work for you, how about this? This probably will. Put it in a smoothie, can't go wrong there, right? Another thing, experiment. This kind of goes back to that first one, thinking outside the box. Add those veggies to dishes that your kids already like. This one right here, you may know about it. I thought it was pretty neat. Stock up on popsicles. Uh, obviously, they've had those fruit ones around for a long time, but now they've got veggie pops, so wonder how those taste. And then finally, make food look fun. Presentation, presentation, presentation definitely goes a long way. This is not on the list, but a lot of parents would tell you just by getting your kids involved in the cooking process, that helps out too. Shannon? I've tried that and it actually does work. Colony, thanks. Get them in the kitchen. All right, we have some breaking news we want to pass along to you and these pictures just coming into us from the scene. We're getting reports of a multiple vehicle accident in the northbound lanes of the turnpike just south of the Indian Town Road exit. Firefighters just there arriving on scene. An 18-wheeler truck and several vehicles apparently hit some road debris. The truck had a, a leaking fuel tank, approximately 50 gallons spilled right there on the, the turnpike and into the grassy area on the shoulder of the road as well. Several vehicles also had some punctured tires. So quite a slow go right now. Luckily, no injuries have been reported. But again, these are the pictures coming into us from that scene as a multi-vehicle accident is slowing things down. Northbound turnpike just south of Indian Town Road. Steve Weagle here in the Weather Center, and we're looking toward the weekend. Steve, yeah, sure. that's not a great way to start the weekend. No, it's not. Hopefully yeah. they'll have it cleaned up and no injuries. Uh, yes, uh, and we are looking at great weather. I know. It, it is. is fantastic. It is uh, warm and it is humid. Uh, temperatures uh, cooling off a little bit. It is not 463 degrees in Jupiter either. That weather sensor is wrong. Uh, we're getting that fixed, though. We have a team working on it right now. Uh, but a beautiful day. Officially this afternoon, we hit 88 degrees. I think we're going to get close to 90 on Saturday and Sunday. Here's the hour by our forecast tonight. If you're heading out on this beautiful Friday night, fair weather on the way. Sunset almost 8 o'clock now. A few clouds, nothing significant. No rain on the radar. We'll cool off into the 60s, low 70s for overnight lows. And again, off and on clouds, but generally a starry sky. Absolutely gorgeous weather for your Friday night. And of course, we're going to be talking about the weekend in detail coming up, Shannon. We'll see you then, Steve. That's a forecast we're sticking around for. Have you thought about your plans for Memorial Day weekend yet? Why, well, you might have to adjust your schedule once you hear how many people are expected to be on the roadways. And flower shops, working double time right now to make sure mom gets a special delivery for Mother's Day. We're going behind the scenes to see what it takes to pull together these perfect bouquets. Wendy's new jalapeno fresco chicken is so deliciously hot, it's Ooh. generating reactions from everyone. Jalapeno wearing sunglasses, fire flame, fire flame. Hands clapping, thumbs up. Wendy's new jalapeno fresco, our signature spicy chicken with fresh jalapenos and ghost pepper sauce. How will you react? Now through Memorial Day is the perfect time to buy a new mattress at Rooms to Go because you can get a king-size mattress set for the price of a queen set in your choice of four great brands. Now sleep like a king on a bigger, roomier, king-size mattress for the same low price as the queen. Prices start at just $7.99. So make your side a lot bigger side without a bigger price. Just hurry to Rooms to Go, now through Memorial Day. Get a king-size mattress set for the price of a queen. Looks like the Garcia's got a new car. What do we get? I don't know. It's pretty nice. Maybe he got a raise. Good for him. Good for her. The expectation-shattering Buick Enclave. Hey! Now current lessees, switch to Buick and lease this 2015 Enclave for around $291 a month with just $291 due at signing. 
You make me smile like sun Fall out of bed Sing like a bird Dizzy in my head Spin like a record Crazy on a Sunday night Cold Stone has your spring fling flavors You'll be tickled pink with our pink champagne sorbet creation Or try our refreshing tart cherry frozen yogurt Or our red velvet cheesecake ice cream Only at Cold Stone Creamery The ultimate ice cream experience Listen up. I'm reworking the menu. Veggies, you're cool. Mayo, corn dogs, you are so out of here. The complete balanced nutrition of great tasting Ensure. With 9 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals. And now, with twice as much vitamin D, which up to 90% of people don't get enough of. Oh, the sunshine vitamin. Ensure now has two times more vitamin D to support strong bones. Ensure, take life in. I don't believe you. No way. How's that possible? That's crazy. I don't believe you. I find that really hard to believe. I don't know about that. <laughs> no way. Two pairs of glasses for $69.95 with a free eye exam. I paid way too much. It's true. At America's Best, we've been selling quality eyewear at low prices for 35 years. Call 1-800-2-PAIR or visit americasbest.com today. Wendy's 100% fresh pure beef. Just 99 cents. It'll change the way you see change. Got it! Enjoy six starting at 99 cents each. In just two weeks, millions of people will be hitting the road for Memorial Day, the long holiday weekend. AAA predicting more than 37 million people will travel 50 miles or more that weekend. That's an increase of close to 5% over last year, and the most, in fact, in 10 years. If you are traveling, AAA expects you will be paying more for car rentals than in previous years, and more for hotel stays, too. However, there's a, some good news if you're flying. Airfares will be slightly lower compared to last Memorial Day. Watch and win. You have a chance to win 500 bucks right here on WPTV. If you're watching uh, News Channel 5 weekdays in the morning from 6 to 7 with Roxanne and John and Glenn and Lisa, you listen for that money word of the day, then you enter it by 2 in the afternoon, you have the chance to win the 500 bucks. You know how it goes by now. Uh, today's winner is Paolo M. from Lake Worth. Paolo M., congratulations to you. Again, you're watching WPTV News Channel 5 on weekday mornings from 6 to 7 for your chance to win that 500 bucks. I'm here in the newsroom now, and we're walking over to Michael Williams getting ready for the 5 o'clock news tonight. What are you all working on, sir? We have a great story. It's VE Day. Yes. We have a 90-year-old vet. Imagine this. You're 20 years old. You've fought with buddies. You've seen some by your side die, others wounded. All of you on VE Day. He was in Austria, and he'll recount his memories of that day when word came about the unconditional surrender of Germany, yeah. the Axis powers, victory over Nazism, an unconditional victory for the Allies in World War II, and he'll talk about what he remembers as a then young man, 70 years later, recounts it. You get chill bumps just thinking about it. You know, I read through it. I cheated and went into the rundown and read through this story, Michael, and there is a surprise mm -hmm. in the story, even halfway right. through the piece, so it's very well written. Katie Johnson did this right. piece today. I'm looking forward to seeing it at six. Many celebrations here, yeah. and then, of course, later in the year, uh, you know, uh, victory over Japan, Yes. Uh, World, World War II Japan. So for a lot of these vets, it'll be the last time we'll see these major celebrations because they're getting some of them uh, way beyond in years. So it's uh, a moment to salute all of them. Absolutely. Michael, mm -hmm. thanks. We'll see you at five. Yeah. Scary moments for people in Port St. Lucie. What we are learning about a hot air balloon landing that happened right there on their street. That would be shocking. Plus, remember the nearly 30 dogs dumped on the side of the road in Martin County? Coming up next, their journey to recovery and how you can give them a forever home. A $500 gift card every morning. Watch for the money word of the day. Enter on Facebook and you could win. That's it. Watch and win. Weekdays from 6 to 7 a.m. Imported chicken's been in the news a lot lately. For chicken that hasn't crossed an ocean, look for Purdue. We're the first company to have the USDA verify that our chickens are raised in the USA to bring your family a fresh-tasting chicken. Purdue, we believe in a better chicken. I went to Bassett's one-day sale and saved a ton on the style I wanted. Saturday only. Save 30% store-wide during Bassett's one-day sale. It's only one day. I wouldn't miss it. 
Watch the Honda Sports Desk for the latest local and national sports. Powered by ESPN 1063. Every night at 11, only on News Channel 5. Sponsored by the South Florida Honda Dealers. Visit sfhondadealers.com to find the dealer nearest you. This ain't rocket science. This ain't physics. It's pizza. I love making pizza. For Mother's Day, get a medium heart-shaped one-topping pizza and our double chocolate chip brownie, just $15. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Find mega savings on gifts for mom during Dell's Mega Weekend Sale. Shop Friday and Saturday. Open early, 8 a.m. Dresses, 30 to 50% off. Swim and cover-ups, 40% off. 60% off jewelry. Celebrity and designer fragrances, 20% off. 30 to 50% off handbags and handbag accessories. Plus, print your coupons online and take $10 off when you spend 25 or more. Combine with 40% off clearance savings and save like never before. It's Bell's Mega Weekend Sale. Friday and Saturday only. Great brands, great selection, great value. Bell's. We've been thinking, there's a sound the ball makes when it catches nothing but net. Everyone loves that sound, that precision. At GMC, we get that. Nothing separates the men from the boys like nothing but net. This is precision. This is GMC. Now, during the GMC Spring Sales Event, get over 7,100 total value on specially equipped 2015 GMC Acadia SLT models. Swish. Wouldn't it be amazing if every time you fell asleep, you dropped everything? Wouldn't it be amazing if every time you fell asleep, you fell in love? Prana sleep. Amazing sleep. At Purdue, we know fresh chicken. Well, not that kind of fresh. But we do take extra steps in our farms, trucks that deliver daily, and everywhere in between to bring you a fresh-tasting chicken. Purdue, we believe in a better chicken. Here now, the news you need to know in 90 seconds. Right now, Boca Raton police investigating an alleged rape of a Florida Atlantic University student. Police say it happened at an after party at the Wayne Barton Center in mid-April, the victim told police she was pulled up onto a stage and then pulled behind a curtain by several men who then raped her. This party had no affiliation with the university. Detectives are interviewing people right now who were at that party, but anyway, anyone, meanwhile, with any information about this crime, they're urged to call Crime Stoppers, 1-800-458-TIPS. Fort Pierce police say they are following several leads in the shooting death of 18-year-old Leon Mobley Jr., but so far, they haven't been able to make an arrest in this case. The key teen was killed yesterday. Police are offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who comes forward with information leading to an arrest. This is the second homicide in Fort Pierce this year. Right now, Martin County Sheriff's Deputy is looking for a man wanted in connection with an armed burglary. Deputies also want to question Shane Statton about a large amount of stolen property found at a Hope Sound home that he was staying in with family members. The stolen property belongs to multiple victims in several counties here in Florida. If you know where Statton might be, you're urged to call deputies immediately. Residents in Port St. Lucie woke up to an interesting sight this morning. There it is, a hot air balloon landing right there in somebody's front yard. This picture was taken by a homeowner on Davis Road. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but the reason for the unexpected landing is still not known. Neighbors say a truck came by and deflated the balloon and took it away in less than 30 minutes after it had landed. That is your News in 90. You may remember those 29 dogs that had been abused and then abandoned on the side of the road in Stewart. Over the past couple of weeks, they've been nursed back to health and they are now ready to be adopted. The Now's Christina Noche has more. Well, here at the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast, these dogs here look very different than they did about six or seven weeks ago. Uh, they have been nurtured back to health uh, by the staff here. Uh, there are 29 different dogs that were abused and abandoned, left on the side of the road near South Fork High School in late March. Uh, they were in such bad condition that they were missing teeth. They were malnourished. Some of their paws even had problems. And more than that, they were just covered with fleas and really frightened. Well, now uh, they're healthy and they're looking for homes. So starting Saturday, 
Saturday. You could come in at 10 o'clock this morning on um, Saturday morning and adopt these animals. Now, uh, as far as who actually did this to these animals, the Sheriff's Department is still looking for that person and they are still investigating, so much so that they are now offering a $17,000 reward. The Pegasus Foundation, uh, Pegasus has also jumped on, now offering a $15,000 reward for anyone who has information about who left those dogs on the side of the road in March. Reporting in Palm City, I'm Christina Noche for the Now South Florida. Thanks, Christina. Don't forget Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League is waiving its adoption fee this weekend as part of the Empty the Shelter event. Right now there is an urgent need for adoptions because the shelter is at max capacity with more than 800 cats and dogs. The Empty the Shelter event, it runs through Sunday. Talk about girl power. An Air Force Lieutenant Colonel is the first woman to fly the U.S. military's newest fighter jet. Christine Mao flew combat missions in the F-15 Strike Eagle in Afghanistan, but she says flying this thing, the F-35, this week at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida, the Florida Panhandle, she says that was a special moment. The single-seat, single-engine jet can reach up to 1,200 miles per hour and go as high as 50,000 feet. She's just cool, isn't she? <laughs> Mother's Day is on Sunday, and aside from a card and a phone call, most people have flowers on their mind. So our Rachel Leto spent this morning at a local flower shop. That must have been lovely. The I, smells must I have did. been spectacular. I did. I'm telling our photographer that if I ever win it big in the lottery, that that's how I want to decorate my bedroom, with just all those flowers around me. <laughs> that would but be nice. I know. It was fantastic. So I went behind the scenes at Extra Touch Flowers on uh -huh. Clematis Street just to see how they're getting ready for the second busiest weekend of the year. Second. I, I presume that. Valentine's Day is number one. Yes. They cut it yesterday, flew it in. In the back of the shop, they're selecting, cutting, and a graceful flow that goes into each bouquet. Today we've got uh, 10 drivers out, uh, four girls on the phones, and a couple of prep guys that prep everything that we need. In just a matter of hours, hundreds of flowers will come in and go out of the shop. Just today, a couple of hundred today. Overall, the, the week we'll probably do about 750, which in really includes Mother's Day for the most part of the week. And while the shop has a great deal of orders to fill, they make the excessively detailed bouquets look so easy to create. It's just really kind of putting our heads down and, and just really concentrating because there's five of us designing and it really should come from the inside out. You really have to have a passion for it, I think, to really be a good designer. There are schools, but I think learning by doing is the best way to become a good designer. Okay. I'm clearly not meant for making Mother's Day magic, but don't worry, I'm sticking to my day job and letting the pros handle it. By Sunday at 3 o'clock, hopefully we'll be done and all the mothers will be satisfied. I hope they're all satisfied. So this is the boutique that I worked on and it needed a lot of help, so they filled it in with some extra flowers. I'm not meant to... Be a you florist. did okay, Rachel. That was really thank pretty. you, thank you. Yeah. And I also wanted to point out, I thought this was really interesting. So while we were there, yeah. the phone was ringing off the hook, and we oh, wanted yeah. to talk to a customer, but they were all over the phone. So if you want to get some flowers last minute, call the or don't call. <laughs> Walk on in there because you may be on hold for a while. Absolutely, so you might be able to just breeze on in and get what you're looking for. That's probably a better idea. Yeah, Rachel, thank you. No problem. Head on over to WPTV.com. By the way, we've dedicated a gallery to all of our moms out there. You can take a look at the. WPTV reporters and anchors as they share their photos of their moms for this Mother's Day. Still ahead here on The Now, such a touching story. We're going to show you how a blind mom-to-be is able to experience her first ultrasound. Grab a Kleenex. You'll need it. We're coming right back. Get the luxury you want, the value you need, and the performance you crave. At Vista BMW in Coconut Creek and Vista BMW in Pompano Beach, you get it all. Drive the legendary 3 Series for only $2.96 a month and pay nothing out of pocket for maintenance. Shop the area's number one selection of new BMWs. What are you waiting for? Vista BMW in Coconut Creek and Pompano Beach, where luxury meets value. This is a giant 60. We made it huge to make a point. Right now at Rooms to Go, you can finance great looking new furniture for 60 months with no interest. I told you it was big. Now save on great looking rooms at irresistible Rooms to Go prices. Finance interest free and take 60 months to pay until June 2020, five years from now. Pretty impressive, right? There's no games, no gimmicks, no interest. 
for 60 months. 60. Only at Rooms to Go. Now that's big. Just steps away from the water, relax, and enjoy the atmosphere and amazing food with locations across South Florida. Mulligan's Beach House Bar and Grill. Fun and food for the entire family. We got an online car approval hoodwink in progress. Ooh, I hate hoodwinkers. <laughs> no! What? I guess I could have just knocked on your door. But it said they would approve me, even with my credit. Another internet lie. Only drive time gives you a real online approval. With a guaranteed price. <laughs> Is that safe? I don't know. <laughs> Why are we laughing? Save yourself. Get a real online approval first. Go to drivetime.com. It's Empire Today's biggest sale. The 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. That's right. Half off your entire project. You can save thousands. Empire's 50-50-50 sale won't last long. Don't miss 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300. Empire. Today. They can't all be sunshine days. But with Xfinity On Demand, you can stream your favorite movies and TV shows or even download them to watch offline from anywhere. Seize the summer only with Xfinity from Comcast. Get started with the X1 Triple Play now for only $89 a month for a year. Or ask how to get $500 back. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit Comcast.com today. Healthier gifts mean happier moms. Give a gift card to Massage Envy Spa for wellness mom can use on Mother's Day or whenever she needs it most. Trending right now. Twins have different fathers. Judge finds in paternity case. This one's an interesting one. So a North Jersey judge, Sohail Muhammad, made the ruling on Monday. It came to light when a Passaic County woman sought child support payments from a man she thought was the father of her daughters who were born on January 2013. Paternity test showed he was almost certainly the father of one, but wasn't the father of the other. He owes $28 per week, Shannon. Wow, Rachel, thanks. You might need to grab a Kleenex for this next story. A blind mom meets her unborn baby for the first time via a 3D printed ultrasound. Uh, gotta you got to wrap your brain, brain yeah, around it. It's hard to, it's hard to imagine, but Jake Cashmere yeah. has the story for us And today. It, it's actually unimaginable when you think about this perfect timing yeah. for Mother's Day yes. here. If you're a parent out there, you know what we're talking about. Shannon and I, you and I can yeah. attest to this. That moment, that glimpse of your baby on an ultrasound when you go into that room. Well, if you're a mom, this mom we're about to talk about, she is blind. Obviously, she mm -hmm. can't see. So this ultrasound experience had a profound effect on her, a much different experience than the rest of us. Have a look here. Boy. Narizinha parecido com o teu, tá com os dois olhinhos fechados. Pequenininha, uhum. sim. Mãozinha gordinha. Well, we've heard of 3D imaging. This goes way beyond this. 3D printed ultrasound. 30-year-old Tatiana Guerrero has been blind for almost half her life and now primarily experiences the world through touch. Well, her doctor asked if you could touch him, would that let you know what he's like? Well, when Tatiana said yes, the doctor presented her with a 3D printed rendering of the ultrasound. Tá sentindo alguma coisa? Tá aí teu filho. Sim. <laughs> tá aí a imagem do teu filho. Vê se você sente do jeito que você tava pensando que é. Eu sou seu, sou seu filho. <laughs> Story pulls at your heartstrings here. Wow. Amazing. The video was posted by the Brazilian branch of Huggies. It is reverberating across the country right now, not just the country, but the entire world going viral as we speak. It really is yeah. an emotional piece when you sit there and look at it, especially with Mother's Day, because you don't often see this. As you know, 3D ultrasounds are big now, but when you can get a glimpse of this, especially for this mom in her condition that she's in, what a powerful moment. It really was, mm -hmm. really was. And I had a Mother's Day tea already. I was a puddle. It doesn't take much for me today. But I know. That, that, Everybody preparing us for this uh, story coming up here. Jay, thanks. All right. Thank you so Happy much. Happy Mother's Day Thank to you. Thank you too. very much. All right. And to your wife as well, you Kelly. Bet. Still ahead here on the now, West Nile, West Nile virus. It's a concern, certainly, in the summer months. We're going to find out if we tackle this problem before it even happens, what will happen, I think, plus this.
<laughs> Coming up, are you sick of soggy cereal? Well, there's a bowl to fix that. Plus, kitchen gadgets to help you cook like the pros. Stick around for this week's Simple Steals. It's 5 o'clock. You need to know what's happening right now. The only local chopper getting you breaking news first. Steve Weagle, tracking and alerting you before the storm moves in. Local news everywhere. WVTV News Channel 5 at 5. What's bugging you, South Florida? You spoke up and we want to help. News Channel 5, covering local news. Downtown Delray Beach, a parking nightmare. What the proposed solution will force people to do. This hot topic at 6.05 Monday on WVTV News Channel 5. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a newer used RV. Like this new Thor Motor Coach 4 Wind Siesta, discounted to just $369 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Yo! No thank you for the bag, man. I hooked you up, bro. Try getting a deal like that from some other bag. Bet you feel rich now. Hey, ladies, this dude's loaded. Checkers and Rally's two-for-two two deal is back. Your favorite crispy fish with Alaskan filet or our boldly seasoned spicy chicken sandwich. Mix or match them for just two bucks. Hey, man, how about a fry for the lady? Checkers and Rally's. Send the bag. The Stewarts are looking to make over their master bedroom. So what do you want to do in here? I just wanted to feel like a luxurious retreat. Bold fabrics and fresh design create a bedroom that is simply chic. With the HGTV Home Design Studio at Bassett, we'll create an indulgent oasis that fits the Stewarts' creative personality. What do you think? I love it. I'm feeling the retreat coming through. It's absolutely fabulous. It's beautiful. It's a dream come true. It's perfect. Are you ready for your big reveal? Saturday only. Save an incredible 30% store-wide during Bassett's one-day sale. We've been thinking, there's a sound the ball makes when it catches nothing but net. Everyone loves that sound, that precision. At GMC, we get that. Nothing separates the men from the boys like nothing but net. This is precision. This is GMC. Now, during the GMC Spring Sales Event, get over 7,100 total value on specially equipped 2015 GMC Acadia SLT models. Swish. The School District of Palm Beach County. More choice programs and career academies. More graduates. More STEM. More arts. More sports. More of everything. Palm Beach County Schools, PBC Public Proud. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a newer used RV. Like this used Road Trek Versatile, discounted to just $3.43 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Now a look at what's making national and international news in 90 seconds today. It is official. The Justice Department will investigate the Baltimore Police Department now. New Attorney General Loretta Lynch confirming this morning that the DOJ will work to determine whether the department has a history of civil rights violations. This is a similar investigation into the one that was conducted in Ferguson, Missouri, following the shooting death of Michael Brown. Thousands of people gathering today to honor slain NYPD officer Brian Moore. Moore was shot in the head in Queens last week while he was working in plain clothes. The suspect is now behind bars. Moore was just 25 years old. UK's Prime Minister David Cameron pledging a greater Britain as he and his Conservative Party swept yesterday's election. It actually comes as quite a surprise as the polls were indicating the Labour Party was ahead. And many thought it would mean days of recounts and international financial markets. They were prepared for a stretch of uncertainty following the election. But with the sweeping victory of the Conservatives, the markets responded positively today. A sign the economy may be recovering as employment hit its lowest mark since 2008. Now, 5.4 percent U.S. employers adding some 223,000 jobs last month alone. A surprising warrior in the fight against obesity, Mars. You heard right, the chocolate maker of some of all of our faves like M&M, Snickers, Twix. Who's hungry? <laughs> Mars is not saying avoid their treats. But they are suggesting that Americans limit their sugar intake, saying that the company really wants to address the health and nutritional challenges facing our society. And that is your News in 90.
here with Storm Team uh, Meteorologist. I know. Those ones with the, the I just saw them with the peanuts. Did I love those. <laughs> oh, the you ever, Baby Ruth? Uh, no, no, it's oh. a, you know, the M&M's with the peanuts in the oh, middle. Oh, oh. I love them. Those are my favorite. They're, they're in the uh, machine. You know, every time I used to get off the air at 5 o'clock, I'd go in there and Jay Cashmere and I had to have a big handful <laughs> just to get through the night, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, they're great energy boost. <laughs> they are. They're fantastic. <laughs> All right, Shannon, we're going to get a new update on our subtropical storm at 5 o'clock, but here's the latest. Uh, right now, obviously no impact or at least a direct impact here in South Florida. It, it moves up the north uh, as a big rainmaker eventually uh, later in the weekend up into the northeast. For South Florida, we are looking at warm weather. In fact, near record heat possible this weekend. We'll talk more about that and uh, our best rain chances coming up at 5. See you then, Steve. Thanks. Moms and dads, the South Florida Science Museum is making it easier for your little ones to get really excited about learning. They just, in fact, opened the new Pre-K Discovery Center room, and our James Whelan shows us what it has to offer. For you parents who have kids from 1 to 6, we have created this space precisely for you. Hundreds of kids piled into the South Florida Science Center's new Discovery Center room today. We enjoyed it. He wouldn't leave this area. <laughs> he wanted to stay. Even the Cookie Monster showed up. Kids made a splash in the 16-foot water table. It's pretty fun. lit up their imagination on the light bright wall while others read books and played. But it's not just about the fun. This is all about early childhood education. To give kids from one to six a head start. If they can get a sense of how things fit together, they're going to be better prepared to compete in today's more technically minded economy. They also have a new exhibit called Ew, What's Eating You? where you'll get to see all the little creatures that can stick to us like lice. You can walk through the head lice see it sticking to you. The kids love it. From lice to tapeworms to fleas, there are many fun and gross interactive ways to learn this summer. When I come here, I just feel like the kids get so much out of the hands-on experience of seeing the math at work, seeing the science at work, not even realizing that they're learning, but they're learning. What yeah. a blast. Lots of fun there. It looks and like, I'm not sure who had more fun today. <laughs> I did have a <laughs> lot of fun. <laughs> that gross exhibit, that goes until uh, mid-October. So that'll be there. And of course, the pre-K room, that'll be there permanently. That's it's so a great. great new addition, yeah. uh, $200,000 addition, uh, brought in part by PNC Bank. So it's really nice to get that in for the little, little guys Absolutely. and girls. Absolutely. Well, I got a four and six-year-old, so they fit right in there. Right in that thanks range. Thanks for yep. filling us in. Check we'll it out. be there this summer for sure. All right. James, thanks. You always have the best assignments. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I should tag along. Can I be your grip? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> a Central Florida fisherman had a close encounter, watch this, James, with a shark. And he just happened to have a capture, a camera rather, to capture the moment. Take a look. Honestly, Honestly, it was like a scene out of Jaws. Joe Penovich was spearfishing off the coast of Port Canaveral with his daughter and a friend when they came face to face with this big fella. Came off and he said, hand me the GoPro. There's a great white shark on the bottom. Now I kind of said, are you sure about this? <laughs> At the same time, my daughter was yelling and I was yelling. I'm not getting in. Wow, goodness, all of it happening about 20 miles southeast of Port Canaveral, a site none of these guys say they had ever seen before, and a site that's also made them the talk of the town. <laughs> Luckily, nobody's hurt, Joe says, while it is a rare sighting, fishermen are seeing this more and more often, which actually is a good sign. I know, and as we try, I love tracking Capron and yeah. all those other great whites out there, and you can see where they're pinging, Isn't and, it? and many times they're like off the coast of Florida. I know, it's right there. Very easy to it think is. that we have great whites in those waters. I know, but again, we always say this for the shark lovers, because we'll definitely get an email, Absolutely. that this does mean our ecosystem is healthy, so That's right. while we don't want to swim right oh, next yeah. to them, Oh yeah, we're I'm not getting in the water, but you know. To, but take all those it. pictures you want and send I them back because we like watching them. I'm not getting in the water. <laughs> all right, coming up yeah. um, at 5 o'clock, a great Jen Strathman report. Love this when Palm Beach County resident has presented a big check. Uh, now, it's his money. Okay. 
but he forgot about it. It was oh, in an account. I love those I unclaimed too. money stories. Yes. If you've never checked to see if you had any money floating around out there, this is a good time. And Jen's going to walk you through step by step. It's apparently pretty easy, and we'll see if you can get a check too. That would be great. She I found know, this it? guy's money, and he I didn't believe even so. Out, I yeah. haven't, okay. I haven't yeah, talked yeah. to her about it, but I know that's what the story is about. Well, so we do it every year. And I, I love it when we do it. Exactly. Because it is such found a Found money, and just when you find a dollar in your pocket, you're like, woohoo. I found five the other day. I thought I had thought struck it. Exactly, right? That's right. I don't know what I don't know what I spent it on. I didn't exactly. save it, as always. Thanks, Kelly. We'll it. see you at five. <laughs> all right, our next segment here for all of you who are really busy and you like the kitchen and you like those, all those cooking gadgets. Here now, Terry O with today's exclusive Simple Steals. <laughs> In today's Simple Steals, we're heading to the kitchen and getting you exclusive deals on cooking tools and gadgets that will help you cook like a chef. Welcome, Simple Steals fans. I'm Terry O. So this first product, I think, is the coolest thing ever invented. Do you get easily annoyed when you try to eat cereal and it goes soggy almost instantly? Well, not anymore with this anti-soggy bowl. Check it out. It has a divider right in the middle, which controls the amount of cereal and milk that mix together. That way, your last bite is just as crunchy as the first, and guess what? You can use it for tons of other foods like chips and salsa, cookies and milk, fries and ketchup. They're BPA free, they're dishwasher and microwave safe. Normally they sell for $8.49 a piece, but they're giving it to you for only $4.25. Put a spoon in that, will ya? All right, next, stop fighting with trying to open bottles and jars. All you have to do is use this magic opener, Extreme, instead. If you look on the back, they come in different size adjustments, so you can unscrew plastic bottle caps with a simple twist. You can also open cans as well. Once, $24.99, they're now just $14.99. Moving on to something extra sharp here, we found these high quality, super durable knives from Ergo Chef. And let me tell you, these will stay sharp for years and years to come. The seven inch knife is perfect for fruits and veggies. It was $71.99, but you can steal it for just $43.20. Or you can choose the six inch, which is perfect for all other food items. $164.99, it's now only 39 bucks. Now that's a sharp steal, right? Finally, Ergo Chef is also selling this three-piece tong set. Now, if you look very closely, you'll see that one side is BPA-free silicone, which is safe for non-stick pans right here. The stainless steel side is great for aluminum or stainless steel pans and grills, but they have them both on the same tong. Isn't that cool? For a set of three, they were $47.99, but now you can buy them for only $28.80. Hey, thanks, Ergo Chef. To get all the details on how to purchase these exclusive steals, just log on to our Facebook page by typing in simplesteals.com. And don't forget to like us. I'm Terry O, and those are your exclusive Simple Steals today. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate you. The next time you Google your favorite restaurant, you may be able to place an order right there. The Now's mm -hmm. digital producer, Rachel Leto, here with details on that. That sounds good. It's pretty cool. So yeah. along with directions, telephone numbers, all that stuff, now Google now allows you to order food directly from your search results. What wow. will they think of next? Exactly. So the new, everything. They are. So the new feature is currently available with six companies that deliver food, Seamless, Grubhub, Eat24, Delivery.com, Beyond Menu, and MyPizza.com. Now Google says it plans to expand the service to individual restaurants in the coming months. The internet giant recently added song lyrics and health-related information to search queries as well. So the next time you're planning to order food from your favorite restaurant, you can just Google it. Shannon? They are brilliant. Thank you. Rachel, thanks. <laughs> Summer is just around the corner. The warmer weather means mosquitoes will soon be out in full force, increasing the threat, of course, of West Nile virus. But as Ann McNamara explains, scientists now think they can predict West Nile outbreaks before they happen in hopes of protecting you from the deadly disease. Researchers with the CDC and the National Center for Atmospheric Research discovered a correlation between the weather and West Nile virus. They hope to use the information to forecast the spread of the disease before the season even starts. A question that CDC gets every year is, what is the West Nile season going to look like this year? Dr. Micah Hahn and a team of researchers tasked with trying to answer that very question. They're part of a one-of-a-kind study spanning the entire country in eight years of data. We looked at the entire United States, and that's something that no one has done before. 
The findings say there's a connection between West Nile virus outbreaks and higher than average temperatures the year before. For example, a one degree Celsius increase in the northeast and southeast meant those areas were five times as likely to have an above average outbreak. Scientists say warmer temperatures create better breeding conditions for mosquitoes and infected bird populations. One of the reasons that we want to do this prediction is there's currently no treatment or vaccine for West Nile. So really the only way to prevent human cases is to prevent people from getting bitten by mosquitoes. Almost 80% of people infected with West Nile never show symptoms, but the virus blamed for more than 1,600 deaths in the U.S. since 1999. And since right now there is no vaccine or treatment, advance warning could be the best chance at saving lives as soon as this summer. We're really just months out from being able to put out our first attempt at a predictive model. In severe cases, West Nile virus causes brain and spinal cord infections. So if local officials can know the outbreak is coming, then they can make strategic changes, like maybe spraying more often to reduce the number of mosquitoes. At the Now National Desk, I'm Ann McNamara. And thanks, and thank you at home for joining us this week. We're wrapping up a week here on The Now, and we're also wrapping up, if we could take a bump shot very quick, of our dear friend, Anthony Esposito. He is a good friend to us here at News Channel 5. You know, we don't do it alone. Uh, we get on the air with a lot of helping hands from behind the scenes, and Anthony has been here for a year and a half, helping us get on the air clean day in and day out every single night. Anthony's moving on to the Fire Academy here in Palm Beach County. Know that this is a good man in our community. He'll be on the front line protecting us and serving us. We thank you for your service to us here at Channel 5. That'll do it for the Now South Florida. Now, News Channel 5 at 5. Right now on News Channel 5. Police in Boca Raton are investigating the alleged gang rape of an FAU student. Officers are telling us the student reported this about a month ago at an off-campus party. News Channel 5's Charlie Keegan's been on the phone with party organizers and police. He joins us with what he is learning. Charlie. Yeah, right now police need your help finding this finding out what happened here in this Wayne Burton Center behind me. They say that earlier that uh, detectives Detectives tell me that a group rented the space out on April 11th, and the next day a woman came to police saying that several men pulled her behind a stage and raped her. Now, the owner of the center is former Boca Raton police officer Wayne Barton. He spoke to reporters this afternoon. He says he's helped police review surveillance footage of the party, looking for any clues. Organizers of the party tell me that they had private, private security inside, and police officers were outside the center, mostly to help with traffic. But news of the rape investigation is catching everyone off guard. When I heard about it, I was totally shocked that something had occurred because we took all the measurements that one could take. That now, the woman who was who tells us that who tells police that she was raped was an FAU student, and we are told that many FAU students were at this party, some of them from fraternities and sororities. We reached out to FAU about its code of conduct as it pertains to students and Greek organizations and off campus events. We are still waiting to hear back from the school. But for now, Boca Raton police officers are trying to are continuing this investigation and asking you if you have any information about what may have happened during this party to two, please call detectives. Live in Boca Raton, Charlie Keegan, WPTV News Channel 5. Right now, subtropical storm Anna is on the move. Our storm team tracking it. Chief Meteorologist Steve Weagle joins us now with the possible impact on our weekend weather. Steve? Yes, it's going to have a very beneficial impact. We're already starting to feel that. Dry air coming down the state, lower humidity, and really high pressure around this system is bringing us just absolutely gorgeous conditions. Now, there is still the chance for a shower or thunderstorm as we get into Saturday and Sunday, but you can see on the western side of this, it is just beautiful weather, very, very dry conditions. Typically, we would see the afternoon showers and storms, but it's really settled down the last couple of days, although we did see some rain last night, and there's still the chance for a few pulse thunderstorms on Saturday and Sunday afternoon. The wind's at 45 miles an hour. It's near stationary. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, but later in the weekend, expected to make landfall around the Carolinas and then track up the northeast after that as a rainmaker, some gusty winds, um, uh, weather that uh, is more nuisance weather uh, up in the northeast later in the weekend. There's a look at the forecast tracks. So you can see they're all in really good agreement taking it well up there. Uh, as far as our temperatures, we're in the high 80s and low 90s, and we're not going to cool down much as we get into Saturday and Sunday. More very warm weather on the way. We'll talk about that in the complete weekend forecast coming up.
Steve, thank you. Right now, crews are cleaning up after a multi-car crash on the turnpike northbound just south of the Jupiter exit, which is Indian Town Road. This was an 18-wheeler that crashed, and it, it, there was a fuel leak. About 50 gallons leaked before that fuel leak was contained. There were a number of cars, though, that hit debris in the road. That's why you have the slow go there on the northbound turnpike near Jupiter. We are learning a Palm Springs charter school principal allegedly caught in a marijuana smoke-filled car with one of her students apparently is no stranger to controversy. Our news partners at the Palm Beach Post report that four years ago, the same principal, Krista Morton, ditched the charter school she'd been running in Bradenton amidst accusations of massive institutional failures at that school. Under her leadership, the Post reports, the school was accused of failing to give students report cards or progress reports. Maverick says it has suspended Morton pending the outcome of the investigation. Police are still working to find the person who shot and killed an 18-year-old man yesterday in Fort Pierce. Tonight, though, those who live near the shooting area worry that the fear of retaliation overpowers the courage of someone to come forward with information. Megan McRoberts is live in Fort Pierce with why they're holding back. Megan. Kelly, I want to show you really quickly. Just a little while ago, a city employee was out here installing this makeshift fence between these two fence posts. This is right where the shooting, that deadly shooting happened yesterday. And residents say this is a big deal because too often they say they've seen criminals squeezing through the gap here and escaping law enforcement. So the city now doing its own work to deter crime. But police say to solve these crimes, they need more people to come forward. Trying to get back into her normal routine, Sister Blue watches her back while she hangs clean clothes for her five young kids. I'm scared for everybody, especially with kids. You know, our kids are usually outside playing. Her kids were napping yesterday when 18-year-old Leon Mobley Jr. was shot and killed just feet from her clothesline. Gunshots so close, they woke up her kids. The first thing that went through my mind was, um, to get outside to ask him has he accepted Christ. I didn't make it in time. Today, not showing her face or telling us her name because of a strong fear of retaliation she shares with all of her neighbors. Even if I was to see something, I, would, I wouldn't say anything. Either just the fear of, you know, my kids staying here. That fear keeping police from solving two homicide cases in the city this year. That number is down from the seven the city saw this time last year. But Sister Blue says people won't come forward because many families have nowhere else to go. Free money, free housing, like, why not say? I mean, it's low-income housing. Housing. But she's saving up and quickly moving her kids out. About, I'll say about six months from now we're moving. And police are stressing tonight that Crime Stoppers is anonymous. If you call that number, they will not take your name. They will not ask for your phone number or make any record of it. And if you do call, you can receive a $5,000 reward if it does lead to an arrest involved in this shooting. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, I'm going to take you to a place in the city that some people say is actually helping criminals get away with crimes and escape law enforcement. I'm going to take you there and show you what some residents are hoping to see change. Reporting live in Fort Pierce, Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5. Deputies say one man is responsible for several burglaries across Martin and Palm Beach counties that netted him some of the items or all of the items you're seeing. They say the crime spree stretched into other states as well and your help is needed to now find him. News Channel 5's Jamel Lene is live in Martin County with more on this. Jamel. Good evening, Michael. Well, I want you to take a good look at this picture. This is Shane Statton. Uh, this is the man that deputies say they are looking for. Deputies have an active warrant out for his arrest. And he's, they say that he has a very long rap sheet with several burglary charges. Detectives say that he was staying in this neighborhood where he was burglarizing people. Now, they recovered thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, credit cards, and tools when detectives went to serve a search warrant at Staten Sisters' home where he was staying. Now, one of those burglaries happened last week when an elderly couple came home to find their house ransacked. Several items were taken, including a gun, a gun deputy said has not been recovered and neighbors now keeping their eyes their eyes peeled for statin well it's not a good thing to have going on in your neighborhood we have a lot of elderly people here in this neighborhood and we have a lot of people with small children that don't really need to be in this neighborhood if they're doing that kind of thing and we hope the sheriff's department catches them as soon as possible 
Now, neighbors now taking extra precautions, locking their doors, adding security systems. Deputies say if you see Staten, you are asked to contact them. And they also say if you've recently been burglarized in this area, give them a call as well because they might just have some of your stuff. That's the latest here in Hope Sound. I'm Jamel Lene for WPTV News Channel 5. Thousands of mourners from around the country, including some from our police units locally, gathered in Long Island today to remember a police officer killed in the line of duty. Among those attending, the Honor Guard members from the Martin County Sheriff's Office and officers from the Stewart Police Department, among others, from across our five-county region. Officer Brian Moore, just 25 years old, was shot in the face last weekend in New York. Police say he and another officer had tried to stop and question a man who was walking on the sidewalk. And when that confrontation occurred, a shot quickly rang out and police quickly apprehended the shooter. More roads will be blocked off starting Sunday to prepare for all aboard Florida. Crews will close Hibiscus Street in downtown West Palm Beach to get the railroad crossings ready for the 32 trains that would pass through each day. Hibiscus Street is going to be closed from Sunday until Wednesday. Several other streets in the area will be closed for similar upgrades throughout the month of June. All aboard Florida is hoping to have the trains running from Miami to Orlando by 2017. A local man is hoping his story will bring attention to the plight of an untold number of prisoners. A lack of help, private or public on the outside, makes many local jails, by default, the biggest mental health care provider in a community. News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers with more in efforts to provide help for men and women behind bars. Walter Mosley says he's been dealing with mental illness since he was a teen. It got worse when he ended up in jail, charged with auto grand theft. While I was incarcerated, it got like severe, you know, and um, a lot of times I would go and try to seek help while I was in the criminal system. And a lot of times, you know, they would write it off as just being a behavioral problem. Walter says he got help when he got out of jail. Now he's a mentor for others in a support group. We need to look at other options. Palm Beach County commissioners are taking notice of the amount of mentally ill people showing up in jails. Just this week, the commissioners agreed to get involved with a federal program called Stepping Up. We are hoping that by the counties stepping up, that we can actually leverage dollars that the counties have to try to come up with legislation that can deal with this as to really help the jails not have to be overburdened, but have individuals with mental illness go where they should be treated. Our local mental health advocates say this is a move in the right direction. You can make deliberate efforts and address this, this um, problem. It doesn't have to exist. It doesn't have to be where we're incarcerating um, our citizens with mental illness. How Walter wishes had been there for him. That would be the, the preferred thing to do, you know. Uh, because uh, a lot of times, you know, with therapy and medication, that helps a lot. Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5. I'm Jay Cashmere, live in the feed room right now. Tornado watches have been issued for parts of Colorado and New Mexico, and there's concern more severe weather could be on the way tonight. All of this as cleanup efforts are underway. Severe weather hit parts of the plains with flooding rains, hail, and more than 50 tornadoes over the last two days. You're seeing the destruction. All, oh, what you're seeing right now is the destruction that had occurred. The devastation wreaked havoc on so many communities in Tornado Alley. And now it's about to get worse before it gets better with another round of storms. The threat could last throughout the weekend with what meteorologists are calling long track tornadoes. Those are larger twisters that stay on the ground longer. And get this, 16 million people are in the potential strike zone. We'll of course be monitoring the situation. If anything uh, breaks, we'll certainly bring it to you. Back to you. Jay, thank you. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch is launching a federal investigation into whether the Baltimore Police Department has engaged in a pattern or practice of excessive force. The investigation comes as six officers face charges in the death of Freddie Gray, who died in April after he suffered a fatal injury while in police custody. Lynch says Gray's death and other issues there have, quote, given a serious erosion of public trust. Rather than examining whether the police department violated good policies, we will now examine whether they violated the Constitution and the community's civil rights. Baltimore's mayor requested this Justice Department investigation into the city's police force. Countries across Europe mark VE Day, as do veterans who fought in that war who are elderly now in the United States. Victory in Europe Day, there were quiet moments 
Military marches, solemn classical works, and national anthems to mark 70 years since the defeat of Nazi Germany and the end of World War II in Europe. French President Francois Hollande laid a wreath at the statue of World War II leader and former French President General Charles de Gaulle. At one point in the war, Britain stood alone early on against Nazi Germany and prepared for an invasion that ultimately, with the Allied powers joining forces, never happened. Coming up at 6, one local World War II veteran is sharing his memories of that day in 1945. 90-year-old Carmen Yanoda isn't one to talk about his time fighting in the war. The memories haven't faded, and until recently, the Army veteran thought he was part of the greatest generation, forgotten. We're just simply reuniting you with something that you lost. A Palm Beach County man gets a $27,000 check from the state of Florida. How you could find yourself on the receiving end of money just like him, next. Plus, find out why we may have more one reason to spoil and celebrate our moms, as if you needed another reason this coming Sunday. Then all new at 5.30, it had one local neighborhood buzzing this strange site. Look at that, a pretty one, though. Landed on a Treasure Coast street today. And helping you plan for tomorrow morning and the weekend. Look at that. Look at this beautiful storm. Team 5 Chief Meteorologist Steve Wiggle has your most accurate weather forecast just minutes away. And right now on WPTV.com, celebrating Mother's Day. We'll take a look at members of our news family. I think that's one of our new reporters, Jacqueline Powell, and her mother. We'll be sharing their memories with their loving moms, so just check it out on ptv.com. You need to know about the weather. You round up the usual characters. You know the type. They know about this. They know about that. They even know about these. Now your family can have days like this and that. Storm Team 5. We're giving away a $500 gift card every morning. Watch for the money word of the day. Enter on Facebook and you could win. That's it. Watch and win. Weekdays from 6 to 7 a.m. Delray Toyota's ultimate buyback event. Your trade is in high demand, so we're paying top dollar. At least a new 2015 Camry LE for only $89 a month. Or buy a Camry for $13,988. Visit DelrayToyota.com. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't find anything. Just when I think it's just not going to work, this woman that works there comes over and asks, Can I help you? And he was so happy to do it. Amazing, right? I never would have expected, would have thought that anyone would find that. Do that. Make that. Go out of their way for me. Right then, right there. I couldn't believe it. He was so helpful. I know it's such a small thing. Little thing. Simple thing. But it made me smile. Made me happy. Made my day. <laughs> Share your story. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. 1,000 new Kias. No money down. Our low price is free guarantee and free tires and batteries for life. The Kia Closeout is on at Best Smith Kia. Now, buy a new 2016 Sorento with zero down, $299 a month. Buy a new Optima, zero down, $279 a month. Plus, they're backed by our low price or its free guarantee and free tires and batteries for life. Rush to the Kia Closeout today at Best Smith Kia. Send you the most on the Treasure Coast. I felt a lot of comfort knowing that I could focus on healing myself and getting back to work and back to my life while someone else was advocating for me. When my colleague said that his mother had actually used Craig Golden Farb's office, I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And I'm very happy that I did. They worked so hard on my behalf. Nothing makes me more proud than to be recommended by a grateful client. Call a lawyer you can trust. Call me, attorney Craig Golden Farb. Announcing Edmore's Delray Toyota's ultimate buyback event at Edmore's Delray Toyota. Your trade is in high demand, so we're paying top dollar. Lease a new 2015 Corolla L for $69 a month or buy a Corolla for $12,988. Visit DelrayToyota.com. Weather on WPTV is sponsored by Capital Carpet and Tile. The state awarded a big check to a Palm Beach County man. It was his money, but it had been sitting in the state's bank account for years. One in every five people in Florida has money waiting for them. It takes just seconds to see if you have any money. Consumer watchdog Jen Strathman shows you how it works. Every trip Michael Weber takes to his mailbox brings back painful memories of the past. Every day I get bills 
from from hospitals. From his two bouts with cancer. I'm not ducking it because I don't want to pay it. I'm ducking it because I don't have it. Making it hard to feel good about life again, cancer free. But that all changed today. We're just simply reuniting you with something that you lost. Florida's chief financial officer, Jeff Atwater, handed Michael a check for $27,000. And I appreciate it a great deal. And it will, I needed it at this time the most in my life. And you may have money waiting for you that could change your life, too. There's nearly $200 million in South Florida waiting to be claimed. Michael never expected his name to be on the list. It was a sense of relief. Of, oh, my God, I'm going to be able to pay my, my bill. And give his daughter the wedding she's always dreamed about. Now, to see if you're owed money, go to the bottom of our story on WPTV.com slash watchdog, and you can search our database. If you find your name there, a list of results will pop up with everyone with a similar name. Find your address, and then you can begin to claim your money. Now, you need to be careful when you're claiming your money because there are a lot of companies and even bad guys who want to try to take it from you. Some companies will try to charge you a fee, but there is no fee you need to pay for this. It is a free service. You just need to search, find your name, and claim it. I'm Consumer Watchdog Jen Strathman fighting for you. A new study suggests women take on a majority of the workload at home after giving birth, even in homes where they thought there was an equal distribution of labor. In the study, Ohio State University researchers showed women's workloads increased by two hours a day, while men's total working time increased by 40 minutes. The co-author of the study says women ended up shouldering a lot more of the work that comes with the new baby, even though both men and women felt they shared an equal amount. Consumer Alert, two of the nation's biggest banks have agreed to erase certain debts from borrowers' credit reports. It is a move that could potentially provide relief to more than one million Americans. Bank of America and J.P. Morgan Chase will update borrowers' credit reports within the next three months, erasing debts that were legally eliminated in bankruptcy. The move is a victory for borrowers, have reports that have been scarred as a result of debts, which of course can hurt job prospects and their chances of getting new loans. The list is out, and this year's winners are, drumroll please, Noah and Emma. Talking about names, the most popular ones. The Social Security Administration just releasing its annual list of the most popular baby names for boys and girls. Emma knocked Sophia off of a two-year reign atop the list. The top five boys' names, Noah, Liam, Mason, Jacob, and William. And the top five girls' names, Emma, Olivia, Sophia, Isabella, and Ava. Now, Storm Team 5 with South Florida's most accurate weather forecast. And we have another name we're talking about. That's Anna, which is off the Carolina coastline. That storm is still just kind of churning off the coast and causing some um, fairly good seas. It is uh, kind of devoid of any kind of thunderstorm activity. There's not much going on. Lots of, in fact, if you were near the center of this, it would be sunny outside. There's not a lot of cloud cover. All of the uh, showers and potentially storms would be on the outer edges of it. You can see some bands here and also on the eastern side. Interesting storm. Obviously, it's got some structure to it, and it will continue to push in toward the Carolina coast on Saturday and Sunday. Near stationary winds at 45 miles an hour. It's actually helping our weather because it's uh, bringing a high pressure around this is bringing us some fair weather and some nice winds too, and that's why it's been fairly quiet weather-wise as far as uh, big showers and storms. We just haven't seen them today. We may see a return on on Saturday and Sunday. I don't think we're going to see anything significant. Here are the computer models taking it up into the northeast on the weekend, later part of the weekend, and then uh, off into the North Atlantic, the hurricane graveyard after that. Our temperatures are in the uh, mid to high 80s. No, that's not the actual Jupiter temperature. It is actually quite a bit cooler than that. Uh, tonight, we'll cool off into the low 70s by 10 and 11 o'clock. Sunset just before 8 o'clock. Some clouds around, but really, really nice. And um, nice humidity, too. Our humidity levels will drop quite a bit. 71 by 4 a.m. and almost everyone in the 60s by sunrise tomorrow, which is around 7 a.m. So two very warm, let's call them hot days. We'll shatter 90 in a couple of spots, and then we cool off a little bit Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but still a well above normal for this time of year. Here's the Vipercast. Keeps our storm to the north, slowly moving inland. And then uh, for South Florida, fair amount of sunshine, warm weather, warm south wind, uh, early southeast, or I should say southwest wind in the morning, and showers and storms returning for early next week. The wave heights 
are running about three to four feet. They do come down a bit tomorrow and the swell will drop a little bit too. Two to three south winds are light and uh, sunny hot weather. Drink lots of fluids. Take it easy in the sunshine. 68 tonight. Beautiful Friday night. Great way to kick off the weekend. A few clouds tomorrow. 89 sunny hot. We'll have to watch the radar. A late, few late day showers and storms are possible. I haven't put them in the forecast, but there is the chance for a little wet weather late in the day. Mother's Day also looking hot and humid, but lots of sunshine on the way. Looking really good for the second half of the weekend. And then our rain chances definitely bump up early next week as we get an east wind and more moisture coming in off the coast. Nice weekend, but hot. A lot, lot warmer than last weekend, so enjoy the sun, but take it easy, too. Steve, thank you. Lucky 13, a family with 12 boys, is about to have a 13th baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> then at 5.30, this is no fish tale. Here from the man who not only saw a great white shark off our coastline, well, you can obviously see the pictures. Mm. Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Health. The best in live music is at Arts Garage in Delray Beach. Enjoy exceptional jazz, blues, and Latin performances by Grammy-winning artists and emerging local stars. Bring your own whatever and make Arts Garage your after-work hangout or date night destination. Visit artsgarage.org now for tickets. In life, we all travel different roads to get where we're going. At Vista BMW in Coconut Creek and Vista BMW in Pompano Beach, we'll get you there in style with the world-class service you've come to expect from the area's premier BMW dealer. Lease a new 528i, just $444 a month, and pay nothing out of pocket for maintenance. Own the road you're on. Vista BMW in Coconut Creek and Pompano Beach, where luxury meets value. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. Arrigo celebrating Memorial Day with the biggest sale of the year. Our red, white, and blue tag sale. 3,500 new Dodge, Chrysler's, Jeeps, and Rams. Clearly marked, thousands off MSRP. And our banks just want to say, yes, you're approved. You gotta go, Arrigo. Drive and discover event. Kelly? Juliet. It's her. Kelly Burkhart. She's got the kid. There's a lot of people at your house. We gotta go. No! New Grimm. Tonight, here on NBC. Red Nose Day is coming. Like a red nose. Get your nose on! The biggest stars come together to raise money and help children around the world. Beats Black Eye Day. Thursday, May 21st, starting at 8, 7 central, here on NBC. Sorry, I have a cold today. This ain't rocket science. This ain't physics. It's pizza. I love making pizza. For Mother's Day, get a medium heart-shaped one-topping pizza and our double chocolate chip brownie, just $15. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Mercedes-Benz of Palm Beach, where hospitality and friendly service is a family tradition. Right now, lease the CLA 250C for just $329 per month. The all-new GLA 250 for $349 per month or the 2015 C300 for just $3.99 per month. We're proud to serve the Palm Beaches and invite you to visit Mercedes-Benz of Palm Beach. The best in live music is at Arts Garage in Delray Beach. Enjoy exceptional jazz, blues, and Latin performances by Grammy-winning artists and emerging local stars. Bring your own whatever and make Arts Garage your after-work hangout or date night destination. Visit artsgarage.org now for tickets. Covering America, an unbuckled seatbelt causes a Philadelphia bus driver to lose control and crash. Security video from the crash earlier this week shows the driver trying to make a U-turn, but she slips out of her seat and then loses control of the bus. It jumps a concrete barrier and landed on the train tracks. The driver and two passengers were hurt. Bus drivers are required to wear a seatbelt at all times. A World War II era plane flying over Washington as part of a VE Day celebration had to make an emergency landing at Reagan National Airport. Officials say the pilot detected a hydraulic problem, peeled away from the formation. The plane being checked out, the pilot is A-OK. -okay. A, a family with 12 boys is about to have a 13th baby, and there's been a lot of speculation about why the Schwantz of Rockford, Michigan, 
continue to have children. Well, since they started making national news with their 12th child, many thought, well, they're just gonna keep trying until they have a girl since they have all boys. But the Schwantz say that is not the case. The due date for the newest member of their family is tomorrow. No, we have no idea if it's a boy or a girl. Happy Mother's Day to that family. I'm Jay Cashmere in the newsroom coming up all new at 5.30. It literally fell from the sky landing right on their street. Hear what neighbors are saying about this unusual guest. Then a deadly crash on an airport tram. How the freak accident took place. And two reasons to celebrate for a graduate today. How he chose to add to this big day. Those stories and much more with Shannon and I see you in just a few minutes for News Channel 5 at 5.30. Business report on WPTV is sponsored by your local Toyota dealers. Ed Morse is gonna save you. Announcing Ed Morse Delray Toyota's ultimate buyback event. Your trade is in high demand, so we're paying top dollar. Release a new 2015 Camry LE for only $89 a month. Or buy a Camry for $13,988. Visit DelrayToyota.com. Adobe Creative Cloud. Commercial production. Pro Tools. Control. If you've been thinking about pursuing a career behind the scenes in audio and video production, get the hands-on, learn-by-doing training you need at Connecticut School of Broadcasting. From day one, you'll be in the studios creating commercials, editing news packages, and pushing the limits of your creativity. Connecticut School of Broadcasting with two South Florida campuses in Miami and North Palm Beach. To find out more, call 1-800-TV-RADIO or visit GoCSB.com. Due to the recent hailstorm, Bev Smith Kia of Stewart has 80 vehicles in stock that suffered minor hail damage. Get to the hail sale going on now at Bev Smith Kia of Stewart, where for a limited time only, 80 vehicles that have been slightly dinged are on sale at incredible savings. Plus, if you have a trade that was damaged, no problem. Trade it in today and we'll give you top dollar for it. Our loss is your gain. Minor dings mean huge savings while supplies last. It's one hail of a sale at Bev Smith Kia of Stewart. Yeah, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it, I tried so hard, I can't ride the bubby I don't know what it is about that little gal's love, but I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Two hands are better than one, so play two hands at once at multi-action poker. Double the action, double the fun, exclusively at the aisle. The choice is yours. Choose Motor Trend's 2015 Car of the Year and save. Choose a new Volkswagen Jetta with more room and a better warranty than Civic or Corolla. Just $139 a month or zero down. Lease new Passats, $169 a month or zero down. Choose affordable German engineering. Buy Jettas or Passats with 0% for 72 months. Plus, get a 1000 cash back. The choice is yours. And the choice is simple. Volkswagen. Announcing Ed Morse Delray Toyota's ultimate buyback event. Your trade is in high demand, so we're paying top dollar. Sign and drive a new 2015 RAV4. Lease for $239 a month, zero down. Or buy for $21,488. It's Ed Morse. Visit DelrayToyota.com. Live, local, from WPTV, this is News Channel 5 at 5.30. Local coverage you can count on. First at 5.30 tonight, it's what everyone in a Port St. Lucie neighborhood is talking about. A giant hot air balloon right in the middle of a street. Where did it come from and why was it there? Just some of the questions News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers set out to answer today. Lee McWinnie never expected to see this as she was taking her daughter to school this morning. We turned on to our street and it was, oh my God, it looked like it was coming down in my back patio. It was a hot air balloon trying to find a place to make a quick landing. Within seconds, another resident saw it brush up against a tree on Davis Road. So I want to go get my two-year-old son, Joey, and I was like, come look at this big balloon. Then when we came outside, it was riding real low. 